Hey guys, uh, today I was going to talk about why it is that people tend to fail at achieving their fitness goals. And the reason, simply put, is because uh, they fail to prepare ahead of time. Uh, they, the saying goes, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? So, uh, the main thing is uh, making sure that when you're starting a fitness goal, you're covering the three main topics or categories. You have your resting, uh, your workout schedule, and your nutrition. So as long as you can plan all those out, you'll be golden. Well, how do you do that? Uh, first of all, you start out, you map out your typical day, okay? You go from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. Uh, in that typical day, you set aside the hours or the allotted time that you go to work. So let's say you work nine to five or whatever it is. So you have that set. From there, then you pick the time of day that you're gonna work out. Let's say you're gonna work out after work or whatever. Um, and then you pick the time that you go to bed at night. And you wanna make sure when you're going to bed that you're getting no less than six hours of sleep. Uh, ideally, you wanna get like eight or nine hours a night. That'd be perfect. Uh, not a lot of people can do that. Um, so be getting at least six hours. Uh, once you have this down, uh, the next step is really the most important, and that is planning out all of your meals ahead of time. The number one rule that I tell people is always know what you're going to eat for the next meal before it gets here. So uh, that way you're not scrambling, try to figure out what it is you want to eat, and you're not you know, going to get fast food because you're not sure what to eat. Um, it's all ready and good to go. Um, some of the, the best ways to do this is you can take one or two days out of the week and you just cook all of your food on that one or two particular days. Um, that, and then you throw them individually into little baggies or Tupperware or whatever you want and you put them in the fridge. That way you can just grab and go and it's, it's super easy to stay on task because you know, your food's already made for you. Uh, also, uh, you want to be trying to get a minimum, I always say a minimum of five meals a day, and that may seem like a lot at first, but eventually I try to even work your way up to, you know, seven, eight, nine meals a day. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you just make them really small and you have small good portions throughout the day, you keep your, your blood levels and nutrients stable a lot more. Um, so I always try to eat every two to three hours. To do that, um, people always you know, are worried about eating and stuff when they're at work. That's why if you're planning your meals ahead of time and you cook them and have them ready in the fridge, what you can do is get something like this. Uh, I got it off Amazon for like 15 bucks, just a little insulated cooler, uh, real easy. Just take it. Um, throw a couple freezer packs in there with your food for work, bring it with you, and that way you can always eat when you need to. Um, you know, put your individual servings of meals in these Tupperware, throw them in there. And then uh, uh, the easiest thing, too, is when, for me, because uh, I'm not the best morning person, and it's harder for me to think, obviously, when you just wake up. So if, if you're always going to work right away after you wake up, uh, what I tend to do is the night before, I'll take my cooler and I'll throw all of my non-refrigerated food items in there. You know, like I'll throw in some oatmeal and a Tupperware, like a bowl and spoon or whatever. I don't know if you have access to a microwave at work. Um, you know, protein, a couple servings of protein powder, whatever. Uh, and then I take that and I'll set it right next to the fridge and then all of my refrigerated items I'll put on a single shelf in the center of the fridge uh, That way in the morning when it comes time to go I'll just open the fridge take that throw it in the bag grab a freezer pack throw it in and I just take it and go um, also along with that I Always set out my clothes the night before as well uh, as well as sit down and I plan out what my workout is going to be the next day, like the exercises and everything else. Um, that way when it comes time to work out, you have your clothes ready, um, 
you have you know everything taken care of. Um, so the main goal is you just want to take care of all the unknowns that could possibly be there, take out all the guesswork, and that way uh, you can just do your thing and stick to your your goals or diet or exercise, whatever it is. Um, so that is uh, the best way. Uh, simply put into simple terms, the best way to stick on track is just to make sure you have everything planned ahead of time. If you have everything planned, uh, sticking to your goal should be a cinch. Until next time, thank you.